Okay. Everything's moving now. Perfect. Yes, the champion's box. So this is the box that I have all the heroes in. So I have Lorcana cards here. Um, other stuff, but each one of these just has all the heroes in it. And it's just, they're just alphabetized in order. And so that's the one that all the heroes are in. So I can just grab those. And then this big box over here has all of the aspect cards. And then villains over here on the right side. Uh, and then... Uh, what's it called? Uh, modular sets over here on the left. So, not to figure out where to put this. Okay. Yeah, so that's the champion's box. That's how I have everything stored. Um, yeah. Alrighty, so protection pool. I'm... I don't know how to build a protection pool. Um, I might need to buy those two times of boxes for my stuff. Yeah, it's a they're they're really inexpensive, which is the nice thing. Um, they they're they're pretty cheap. So, I just found them on Amazon. I think I bought this. This one is bigger than that one. That's the old one that I used to have. Um, everything in, and then as the as the collection grew, the I, I went to uh, this bigger one. The bigger one, they they weren't that expensive, so I think I bought it like three at a time. Is my aggression deck? All right. Hmm. Okay, so I don't know. We don't really want to defend that much. Oh, what about Taunt? Heck yeah. Let's play Taunt. Now we're talking. Okay. I got lucky and managed to get all that art, art, alt art heroes from LGS. Nice. That's awesome. Which one's your favorite? Which one do you like most? I... I really like the angel. I think the angel looks so cool. Um, but curious what, what you think. Um, let's go. Let's go specialized training. It's just new. It's fun. Superpower training, build support. I want to buy. I want to get symbiote suit. Angel is definitely your favorite, followed by Silax. Silax pretty sweet as well. Yeah, I want to get two of the row boxes. They seem like a nice size. Oh, the two row boxes, big enough to hold, but not. Yeah, that's that's a really good point. Is that these are like unmovable. They they're heavy. They're annoying to move, and so if you want to travel with them. I, I wouldn't go with something this big, but they have like the single, they have the double row. And so you can definitely go with that game. Genic also has some really nice, like layer stuff, which is on the pricier side, but it's also just a lot nicer. So far, I only play Deadpool against quite hard hitting villains on expert. When you face tank, all the damage HP goes down. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> So somebody too, let's grab an endurance. Let's grab a downtime. Okay, so we have taunt. Hmm. Let's grab Professor X. I think we want a little bit of confuse. That saves us from flipping down and then taking a taking a hit. Especially since I have the impression recent villains have way higher boost values. That's true. Yeah, I, I think that we have kind of scaled up a little bit. Do we have any superpowers in here? Okay. Hmm.
I'm trying to just is there anything that we uh X gene? Yeah, we'll take X gene. Weapon X isn't interesting. No, Weapon X. I don't think I want Weapon X. <laughs> Take a damage. And we just, like, if we have one health, we just keep dying. Moira. Moira's nice, especially if we're flipping every single turn. The thing is, is like, I feel like the only, the only thing that you need to hit that rush that we were doing at the beginning of the stream are these two cards in his kit. Immune education helps, but it's like, I don't know if there's any other cards that you need to put in the deck. Like, you, so, I'm trying to figure out like what a, two, four, six, eight. Ten. Let's hop over to our green cards. Assess the situation to get through it faster. I haven't played assess the situation in a long time. Let's try it. I think Deadpool has easy alter ego access, so alter ego cards or flipping cards should be good. The only flipping card in protection is Perseverance, right? Which we don't want. What about the reduced damage cards? Backflip. Um, I don't know if we ever want to or care about reducing damage. That's the thing. I... I, I I don't know why we wouldn't just face tank the hit and take it. We get to flip down. We can heal once we have the chimichanga truck out. We get a free heal. We want to be an alter ego every turn because of his ability. I feel like mutant education has to go in there. Or X-Men, yeah, mutant education has to go in there. But if we're running that, let's go ahead and grab... Can I only put two in here? There's no way. Okay, I need need to reevaluate that. Oh, yep, here's the third. But but does that make sense? Am I thinking about that incorrectly? Like we can just take the damage and be fine with it. Like he he doesn't care about taking damage. Let's go X Mansion. Two, four, six, eight, nine. Let's find some more green cards because we're playing green. Um, Brother Voodoo. I like Brother Voodoo. You could go find an event. Or five more cards. Let's go Black Widow because we're going to be running Symbiote Suit. Ooh, ooh. What if we try Venom? Um, and. What's the get behind me? When a treasury card is revealed, cancel its win revealed, and the villain attacks you. Let's grab those. Take the damage and get a free flip back up to Alter Ego. Yeah. Good. Get behind me. Grab a third. The Night Nurse could be a nice play to clear the statuses. 
I thought about using Venom with all the pool cards. Bad man. <laughs> um, I love it. That's awesome. Um, Oh, Warpath. I don't know if there's really anything that we care about. Hmm. Venom may not be a bad call. We have ways to cancel. Let's try Venom. What's the worst that could happen, right? There he is. Venom with all the pool cards is a really cool idea. Who are we fighting? What could go wrong? <laughs> That's next. We have Star Lord next. <laughs> um, who are we fighting? All right. Ooh, bait and switch is interesting. Bait and switch is interesting. I like toe to toe. Wait, what is bait and switch? Is that the one that removes threat from the main? I'm gonna remove four threat from the main. We have taunt in there. I think that. I think it occupies the same spot that Yuhu does. And since we can get Yuhu, I guess at most two, four, six, eight times per deck pass, I don't know. I don't know if we need to have the villain activate in order to do that, in order to remove threat. Um,. I'm going to try Strife. Haven't played Strife in a while. Oh yeah, we get Hope Summers. Uh, Extreme Measures and Mutant Interaction. Let's put in Hope. Um... Let's go with Armies of Titan. I don't think I play that one too frequently. And Oh, Power Drain. I love Power Drain. Put Hope Summers into play. Under the first player's control, reveal Strife's Grasp. Strife's Grasp comes in with 10. Hope Summers can attack only Strife and can thwart only this scheme. After Strife is defeated, or the last threat is removed from the scheme, flip this card and reveal Living Bomb. Place any threat here on Living Bomb. That's going to come in with 10. Okay. 
After resolving step one of the villain phase, each player places X threat here, where X is the number of cards of the most common type in their hand. Each player may discard one card from their hand before calculating the value of X. Players, if we complete that stage, we lose the game. Strife stage two, say one one seventeen. So close. And while Strife is attacking you, gets plus X, where X is the number of cards of the most common type in your hand. When revealed, each player can discard cards from the encounter deck until uh, a psionic attachment is discarded and reveals that card. So let's go ahead and shuffle up and do that. I feel I feel like Strife's grasp plus the high hit points kind of tacks against the the ready. Or the, the rush, sorry, ready. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Discard until we get a psionic attachment. Attach your identity. If your hero attacked and thwarted this phase, we can discard this card. We get a minus one thwart and a minus one attack. It's not going to be too hard considering we have a zero cost attack in our deck. Pretty nice. Ma yeah, maximum effort seems so good. If we can drop Symbiote Suit turn one. Yeah, I think Symbiote turn one feels pretty good. Um. So actually, this hits Hope as well. That's kind of funny because Hope copies our hero stats. Yeah. Okay. We got six, two, four, six. Assess the situation, maximum effort, cable, endurance. This card is fire and the chimichanga truck to start us out. Ooh, okay then. That's great. We're going to hang on to the chimichanga, endurance, and maximum effort. Toss these three. Got a meta knowledge, montage, and a Deadpool's katana. Symbiote suit turn one is uh, so good for Deadpool. Then your first encounter card, cut a guard, and you're set. <laughs> that's true. Uh, <laughs> that's fair. Alrighty, let's go ahead and montage and meta knowledge to play the chimichanga truck. Katana to play Endurance. One, two, three. We're going to flip up to Deadpool. We will thwart for one off of Strife's Grasp. Well, maximum effort, 11. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. Take Strife down to 6. Then we get rid of Psychic Kicker here. Hey, I just had an epiphany moment. Deadpool arm to the teeth can give you unlimited sound. Yeah. Sick. Isn't that awesome? Yeah, you can just always have it ready to go. It's it's pretty, pretty dumb. And then hope we'll thwart two here. Okay. We will stand up. We got a katana. This card is fire. Venom. Get behind me. Get behind me. One, two, three, four, five. We have three events, so we'll add three thread here. Yeah. Strife is going to attack us for four. We'll take it. Five, six. Flip at a acceleration token. And we have one health now. Counter card is the Merc with the Mouth. Okay. So what I've decided with this obligation is that it's not fun for me not to talk while I'm streaming. And so we're just not going to get allies for the rest of the game. So allies, each exhaust each ally you control. Allies you control cannot ready. Other players cannot resolve player card abilities on your turn. So I, I, I like the idea of the card, but I think what it does to the table is, is not super fun. 
just played a game with it. It's a fun deck. Oh, nice. The unlimited Sonic rifles. That's cool. That's really fun. Villains at six. Hydrate. Got water day. Can we kill strife? Oh, strife cannot be defeated. We have to take out living bomb eventually. Fine. We'll toss a get behind me for a Yoohoo. That's funny. <laughs> okay, we have to win. Or we have to uh we have to do something. In multiplayer, it's fun trying to get the Deadpool player to talk while they have the obligation. <laughs> Hey, Infectious Zombie, thanks for the subscription. 11 months, how, how crazy is that? Thank you so very much. You're amazing. Yeah, and what I've, what we were doing in a four-player game, good morning. What we were doing in a four-player game is that we would have the, I mean, like the player turn would take 20 to 30 minutes, and so someone was just not participating in the game or the conversation for that long, and it was just like, that's 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 a little too bad, I think. Okay, let's go ahead and heal for eight, and we're ready. We go up to nine. Okay. We'll flip up to Deadpool. We'll play Get Behind Me to play Yoohoo. We'll take... What happens with this? This is, he gains stalwart, plus two hand size, increase the resource cost to play each player card by one. That's right. Okay, so first, we're going to use this card as fire and venom to play Deadpool's Katana. Then we're going to play the Yuhu using Get to Behind Me. We'll take... Hmm. We'll take seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, which will flip Strife's Grasp into here. Yeah. Uh, when revealed, advance to stage 2A. Strife gains Stalwart. Uh, each identity gets plus two hand size, increase the resource cost to play everything by one. And then we lose if we scheme out. We will Deadpool Katana take a damage deal to to Strife. He's down to four. Strife cannot be defeated while Living Bomb is around. So we'll go ahead and thwart two there. We'll stand up. Nope. Hope cannot ready. Symbiote suit. Mutant Education. Black Widow. X Mansion. It ain't over. It ain't over is huge. <laughs> um... It means that we can't play Symbiote Suit, but I think that's honestly worth it. If we drop It Ain't Over instead of uh, Symbiote Suit. I say that, but it's also like, we could also probably just win if we play Symbiote Suit. I don't know. Okay, let's place two. Oh, we get plus two hand size. Mutant Education and an Assessed Situation. Now we can play both of them. Sick. No, we can't because each player card is increased by one. So we can still only play one of them. That's fine. Um, <laughs> Strife is going to attack us for a lot. Uh, we will take it. Plus zero. That's going to flip us over and set us to one. And an acceleration token on the main. Then our encounter card is Electromagnetic Pulse. Discard seven cards from the encounter deck. If Electro was discarded this way, put him into play and engage with you. If he was not, it surges. One, two, three, four, five, six seven and it surges into zero guard patrol and toughness when defeated 
The player defeated at zero does not have at least three cards of the same type in his hand. Shuffle them into the encounter deck. Alrighty. The toughness is annoying. The toughness is really annoying, actually. Um, oh, that's funny. Hmm. Let's go ahead and heal. Katana is piercing. Ha <laughs> ha. Look at you go. Thank you so very much. Good catch. Thank you. Ha <laughs> uh, ha. We'll heal for eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Up to nine. Oh, that's so beautiful. Thank you. Stripes have four. He can't be defeated. We need to thwart somehow. I feel like I feel like symbiote suit. Symbiote suit increases the variability of what we're doing. I don't think we necessarily need it right now. Um, so we can take out zero. We can't. We could play Black Widow and thwart down Living Bomb, but then she can't ever ready again, which is kind of funny. Um... Let's flip up to hero farm. We will katana take a damage, pierce with two. Piercing is so good. <laughs> Deadpool will take out zero. We have one, two, three events, so we're good. We'll go ahead and use um <laughs> assess the situation cost one now. Assess the situation is not good against strife. Uh assess the situation, mutant education to play it ain't over. Oh, uh, you know what? I'm going to do a plate expansion first. No, I won't. Because I don't actually know if I could have. Nope. Yeah, we'll play X Mansion now. I would not I would have fed the shuffle of zero back in if I played X Mansion down when we were down. Okay. Stand up. Nope. Moira. X Gene. Mutant Education. Brother Voodoo. Super specialized training. Two, four, five. Add three here. And our cap is increased by four, so we're at 12 is our cap. Strife is going to attack us. This actually may not kill us. Uh, we got one. Oh my gosh, look at this. We have one. Support, upgrade, event, ally, Player size scheme. We have one of each. Our hand size is increased by two. Event and event. So he's plus three. That's fine. Okay. Yeah, I know. Yeah, good catch. Good catch. My Deadpool. My Deadpool set hasn't come yet. Ah, oh, hopefully he's coming soon. Do you know when it's gonna begin? Well, we got the maximum effort. We're feeling fine. Uh, we'll take the attack of four plus two is six. No, we don't die. One, two, three, four, five, six. Bummer. Encounter card. Attack us. Return an upgrade or support you control to your hand. Strife activates against you. Perfect. Um, We'll take X-Mansion back. Then he's going to hit us for a lot. Uh, If you have at least three cards in your hand that share a type, place three threat on the main scheme. Ugh, just like that. Two, four, six, eight. And then we flip and add a acceleration. I think Laser Sword could be pretty good with Arm to the Teeth target. Yeah, Laser Sword is good. Laser Sword is good. Not rocking the pool aspect. We're going to play a Star Pool after this. So I built a Star Pool deck that we're going to play. I played Pool with Deadpool. I wasn't the biggest fan. No, that was the first time I played Deadpool, and it was the first time I played Pool. So we will revisit it, but it was just so chaotic. It was It was crazy. Um, so 
Okay, he has stalwart. Let's go ahead and heal for eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's eight recovery. Never dying is crazy. There are ways that you can die, um, which is which is funny. I've run into him a couple of times. It, it's it is hard to die, for sure, but you can. Um, Juggernaut can do it. Ship command can do it. I I was doing some rush stuff with ship command, but the rogue vessel can kill you in alter ego. Sandman can kill you in alter ego. Indirect damage. There's a couple of things sprinkled in there that can kill him, but it's it's definitely like wild. Deadpool can perma die. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. So Chimichanga readied us. We're at we're at nine health, not ten. Um. Let's go ahead and toss a mutant education to go grab Yuhu. Brother Voodoo, specialized training, and X Gene will play Moira. We will flip up to hero. Moira will trigger to draw us into build support. Hey, Will. Thanks for the follow. I appreciate it. I hope you're doing good. Finally graduated from YouTube VODs to the actual stream. Hooray. Welcome. Nice. Welcome. That's exciting. Happy to have you here. Uh, Heroic Skeleton. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Thank you so very much. Let's go ahead and thwart off of Living Bomb. So, that's there. We will use a Exhausting Personality to play Yuhu. Yuhu. To take... We have eight. So, we'll take... Sorry, I have to do math. Math is math is hard. Um, maximum effort. We want the maximum effort. Um, let's go ahead and do. He has four health. That's annoying. Let's do seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Takes us down to two. Leaves that at one. Then. Katana will take us down to one and deal two. One, two. Okay. We're going to toss build support and expansion. We're going to hang on to maximum effort and we'll stand up. Nope. Hope can't ready. You got to get behind me. Taunt. Get behind me does not work as well as I thought it would because we're usually an alter ego by the time we are revealing this card. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven. I was thinking who could play pool aspect. So far, my big list is Captain America, Spider Woman with leadership. There's a card that allows you to ready for a resource. Yeah. So tomorrow, we're going to be doing two community decks where I've chosen some decks on Marvel CDB from better deck builders than I and playing those. And we're going to be doing two of the. Um, Old hero new tricks. Those old hero new tricks are going to be with the pool aspect. I'm doing. I I'm I haven't locked them down. The one I have locked down is Shadow Cat. I think Shadow Cat can run a nasty pool aspect. So. I I'm uh, I'm excited to see. But I also really want to do a Spider Woman. I hadn't thought about Captain America. That's an interesting thought. But I, Spider Ham. How does one go about getting those snazzy promo cards? These are from the Marvel Champions organized play play events from like your local game store. So if you go to a local game store and they're hosting like an OP event, that's how you get it. Okay. So we're going to add four. I don't know why I flipped that. Add four. So four threat on the main. Strife is going to attack us for a lot. We've got one, two, three, four, five events. 
So, Strife is going to hit us. Uh, discard one card at random from your hand. This actually happens first, so he may hit us for less, which is a really funny interaction. Three, one, two, three. Get behind me already. Still enough to kill me. Okay. Encounter card is a Psychic Override. Choose a card type, then discard each card type from your hand that is not of that type. Draw up to your hand size. Place one thread on the main scheme for each card of the chosen type in your hand. Oh, okay. Okay, so choose a card type, then discard each card from your hand that is not of that type. Discard up to your hand size. Place one thread on the main scheme for each card of the chosen type in your hand. We're going to choose player side scheme. So we'll discard our hand. We actually get a plus hand size here, which is kind of funny. Um, so there's three. So we're drawing up to eight cards. I posted my kitty pool deck. Oh, sweet. Nice. Yeah, Shadow Cat seems fun. Um, kitty pool deck. Sweet. Yeah. Yeah. Shadow Cat. Um,. I wonder if Colossus could do some fun stuff with the Shadow Cat. Um, ally. I'm trying to think if there's anything that. Hmm. There's some interesting ones. So we got four, five, six, seven, eight, and we have two. So we're going to place two for that. So we're at seven out of a lot. It's fun against Claw and Sentinels. Both start with Crisis, and you can keep it out. And st oh, that's fun. Yeah. That's cool. That's really, really cool. Okay. It's our turn now. Which I think right now we probably have lethal. One, two, three, four, five to play the suit. Okay, let's think about this. Um, so Strafe has two health, and then on stage three, he has 20 health. So if we play the symbiote suit, we win. Okay, yeah. Um, let's go ahead and heal. Ready. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we're up to nine. We will use X, Taunt, Arm to the Teeth, and Superpower Training to play Symbiote Suit. So we get 10 health. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's 19. Then we will toss a cable to go find a maximum effort. We will flip up to Deadpool. Um, Katana. Take a damage, deal two, which will flip. Then he has 20 health. So we will play maximum effort. We'll take 17. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We're down to 1. We're down to one, and he's down to three, and then we'll attack for three for lethal. There you go. Finish off with the two bazookas. <laughs> oh, yeah, the bazookas. I forgot about the bazookas. That's fun. There you go. There's Deadpool. It wasn't really a rush game. Strife kind of texts a little bit against the rush, but still, I mean, didn't really have too much of an issue at all. I need to play a lot more Deadpool. Um, Cause kind of what I'm thinking is that Deadpool, I, I don't know if my sample set is just so small that I haven't seen the variability, but the ability to just take a hit, you can, you can play a you who or you can play a, am I playing maximum effort wrong? Take any amount of damage up to your remaining hit points, deal an equal. No, I'm not. So you go maximum effort, you take eight damage, deal eight for zero. 
you're ready to flip back down, which then you can go grab a, another maximum effort, or this card is fire. Ooh, let's do Thanos. It's 247. I'm trying to think of my timing. Okay, we'll do Thanos. Oh, uh, let me go be right back. I'll clean up. We'll run a Thanos game with the old aggression deck. Um, and then we'll we'll do Starpool after that. Okay, be right back. Thank you.